Hello, and welcome to Intro to Time and Loops. In this tutorial, we will learn about the basic functionality of the Time and Loops tab. This works with both video and audio cues. We're going to demonstrate with an audio cue. We have a cue prepared here. Timing and looping and slicing, oh my! So, on the left, you can see the start and end time, which can be adjusted by entering values into these fields. Timing. Or by clicking and dragging the handles to your desired start and end time. I'll use this handy preview button here to play this cue. Looping. You can also use the keyboard shortcut V. Looping. By default, a cue plays once through from beginning to end. You can set a cue to play through multiple times by adjusting the play count here. Looping, looping, looping. You can also set a cue to play on an infinite loop by clicking here. Looping, 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 looping. Make it stop, looping, make it stop. Looping, you can stop looping, a cue by selecting looping, it and pressing looping, S on your looping. keyboard. Or you can stop all currently playing cues by hitting the escape key. Looping, 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 looping. You can change the playback rate of your cue by entering a value in this field. You can also click and drag up or down to change the value. By default, changing the rate of a cue will also change its pitch. Uncheck the pitch shift box to change rate without affecting pitch. Looping, 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 looping. You can zoom in and out on a cue by scrolling up and down inside the waveform, or by clicking these zoom buttons. Next, we'll talk about slices. Slices enable you to loop a specific section of an audio or video cue. You can create a slice by clicking in the waveform view and clicking Add Slice. And slicing, oh my! You can also click and drag to select a region in the waveform, and then the Add Slice button will add a slice point to both ends of the selection. Is anybody else hungry for pizza right now? Once you've made a slice, you can adjust its timing by dragging the green control handle. You can also click on the handle and type a value in the slice time field. The numbers displayed at the bottom of each slice represent the play count of that slice. These can be adjusted by double clicking and typing. No, but seriously, you want to order a pizza? Timing and looping and looping and slicing, 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 oh my! If you enter zero, that slice will loop infinitely. Timing and looping and looping and slicing, 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 oh my, 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 make it stop, okay, oh my. This last button here is the integrated fade envelope, and you can learn more about that in the advanced audio cues tutorial. No, but seriously, you want to get a pie? 